In Return from the Stars, Stanislav Lem explores themes of alienation, the passage of time, and the consequences of technological progress. The novel follows the astronaut Hal Bregg, who returns to Earth after a 10-year space mission only to find that, due to the effects of time dilation, 127 years have passed on Earth. The central conflict in the novel arises from Hal's struggle to adjust to this radically transformed society, where the world he knew has become unfamiliar, both technologically and culturally. The novel's strength lies in its examination of how technological advancements can reshape humanity and human nature itself. Upon his return, Hal encounters a society that has fundamentally changed its relationship with risk, violence, and even emotional depth. The world has undergone a process called betrization, which eliminates aggression and the desire for risk through a medical procedure. This shift has created a peaceful society but one that Hal finds lacking in vitality, courage, and the essential human drive for exploration. The people around him are no longer capable of experiencing danger, and this alteration extends to their attitudes towards space travel, which has been abandoned as a result of these societal changes. Hal's longing for the sense of adventure and purpose that defined his previous life becomes one of his primary sources of alienation. Lem uses Hal's disorientation to reflect on the potential dangers of a utopian vision achieved through technological means. The society Hal encounters is one where suffering and conflict have been largely eradicated, but at the cost of ambition, curiosity, and even emotional richness. The humans of this future are content but complacent, and Hal views them as emotionally sterile. Through Hal's perspective, Lem raises the question of whether the elimination of suffering might also strip away some of what makes us truly human. The world Hal enters may be peaceful, but it feels devoid of the passion, risk, and intensity that he associates with human existence. The novel also delves into the psychological implications of time dilation, where the astronaut experiences what is essentially a form of time travel. While Hal's body has aged only ten years, the Earth he returns to has moved on by over a century. His sense of disconnection from the people and culture around him is profound, as he realizes that everything familiar is now irretrievably gone. Friends, family, and the world as he knew it no longer exist. This theme of temporal dislocation parallels the broader theme of alienation, as Hal is both out of time and out of place a relic of a bygone era struggling to find his place in a society that no longer has any use for his skills or values. In this future society, not only has technology reshaped humanity, but it has also redefined concepts of existence. Hal's difficulty in reconnecting with others is not just emotional but also philosophical, as he questions what it means to live in a world without conflict or risk. The novel suggests that this seemingly utopian world may have sacrificed something essential, leaving behind a hollow existence that is safe but unchallenging. Through Hal's eyes, the reader is forced to consider whether a life devoid of danger and adversity is truly fulfilling, or if such experiences are necessary to give life meaning. Return from the Stars is as much about the internal struggle of its protagonist as it is about the external changes he faces. Hal's inability to adapt to a world that has moved on without him reflects his internal conflict, he cannot let go of the ideals and values that defined him as an astronaut and explorer. This personal journey is mirrored by the broader societal shift away from those same values, as humanity has chosen safety and stability over exploration and ambition. Stanislav Lem uses Hal's narrative to pose critical questions about progress and the cost of utopia. The novel challenges the reader to think about what is lost when a society prioritizes security and comfort above all else. It forces a reflection on whether human nature is fundamentally tied to conflict, risk, and the unknown, and whether a world without these elements can truly sustain the richness of human experience. Through Hal's eyes, Lem paints a picture of a future that is peaceful yet stagnant, and asks whether such a future is truly desirable.